Hey guys, what's going on? Dark Cinema here coming to you with another video. This is not going to be based on any news. Um, this is more of my thoughts personally on the upcoming Suicide Squad movie. Though it was announced, I think it was a few weeks ago, that Joel Kinnaman, the star of the Robocop remake, would be taking the role of Rick Flagg since Tom Hardy unfortunately bowed out due to, I believe it was, scheduling conflicts. Um... Now, as the title suggests, my thought is, my biggest question, will Suicide Squad make or break the DC Cinematic Universe? Now, a lot of people will say, no, no, the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice will be the true test of whether this cinematic universe will succeed or fail. And I disagree. Because when you think about it, Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman being on the screen for the very first time all together, that's going to put butts in seats. Let's not joke about it. Let's not beat around the bush. The movie's going to be financially successful at least in the first week or so. Guaranteed just for that fact alone. We have never seen Batman and Superman on the big screen together. And this will be Wonder Woman's first appearance on the big screen. All of those factors are going to contribute to ticket sales. We all know that. It's already pretty much done and done. The movie's going to be financially successful. Whether or not it holds up against the Captain America Civil War, which really is more of an Avengers film than a Captain America film, but I digress. Whether it holds up against that remains to be seen. Uh, personally, my money is more to the Marvel Universe right now because they seem to have their plan going, playing for the next couple of years. They have already had this at least to 2020. They had that planned from the start. I won't say everything was planned, like Guardians of the Galaxy, I believe, was a huge risk for them, and I will get to that in a moment, um, but it seems that Marvel knows what they're going into, what they're going to do, when they're going to do it, and it's done, like, the plan's all set in stone. When you look at DC, they're going the backwards approach, so instead of what Marvel's doing, which is making the individual heroes and building them up to the team-up movie, they're doing it backwards, and they're introducing the team-up movie, and then they're going to make the individual films. So, that's the difference between Marvel and DC, in my opinion. Plus, the tones are completely different, but to each his own. I personally like Marvel's films a lot better compared to what they're doing now. Batman has always remained my favorite superhero. The Dark Knight and the 1989 Batman still love them to death. Awesome movies. Check them out if you haven't. I don't know where you've been if you haven't seen them, but please watch them. But anyway, going back to Suicide Squad, that will be the movie to make or break it because in all aspects, Suicide Squad is to DC what Guardians of the Galaxy was to Marvel. The fact that this is not a very well-known team to begin with. Because I've gone to quite a few people who have a interest in superhero movies but don't necessarily read the comics they still love the movies and i say hey you excited for suicide squad and they go what who are the suicide squad um these this uh suicide squad is not well known the only way you really know is if you read the comics you have watched arrow which really excited we're getting another suicide squad episode in the future yay for arrow um or if you've seen the animated movie Assault on Arkham, other than, because that was my first introduction to what the Suicide Squad is. But this is essentially uh, DC's biggest risk. Because not only is it a lesser known team, uh, while we might recognize people like Harley Quinn and the Joker, we're not going to recognize people like Captain Boomerang or Rick Flagg, or the Enchantress. We don't know those people as much. So, the star power of Harley Quinn, or the character power of Harley Quinn and the Joker, will definitely help. As well as the amazing cast that they have going up. I'm looking down the cast list, and even the rumor Viola Davis, I really hope she gets Amanda Waller. Really hoping that. Cross Fingers crossed, everyone. I want Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. Make it happen, DC. But... And this, this is a big risk for DC, and also the fact that this is essentially villains being cast. Let's not really... 
there's no two ways about it. The, the, these are villains. Harley Quinn is a psychopath. Captain Boomerang, Deadshot are assassins. These people are evil. Yeah, they probably have a sympathetic um, origin, but unlike Guardians of the Galaxy, which they were mercenaries and killers as well, we ultimately knew during the running time of the film that they would be using their skills for the greater good. And it was of their own free will. When this is pretty much the opposite. They're doing stuff for the greater good, but against their own will. And they got bombs implanted in their necks. So yeah, having a cast of villains is interesting. And as that being one of the main points in your cinematic universe, you know, I give you props for taking a big risk. I personally, maybe this will link into the uh, solo Batman movie coming out. We don't know. But just the fact that the team is not as well known as to the casual fan means that a lot of pressure will be put on Suicide Squad because, you know, Batman and Superman, those franchises are going to sell tickets. But if you want the Suicide Squad to be a franchise, to have multiple installments, that you'll need this first one to have a well-written story. You need to have a good director. You need... You need this to be good. You need this to be awesome. Because if it is not, what it will show to the casual person is DC can make a great Batman movie. They can make a great Superman movie. I'm not talking about Man of Steel. I don't like Man of Steel. But I'm just going off the assumption that a lot of you like Man of Steel. They make a great Batman movie. They make a great Superman movie. And they totally bomb it with other uh, with other films like Green Lantern. And if Suicide Squad fails, then the the franchise, the whole cinematic universe, could be dead before it lifts off. Now, do I want this to uh, to fail? No, no, I don't want the DC cinematic universe to fail. As much as people will call me a Marvel fanboy, I do realize that Marvel and DC, we need both companies. To come out with amazing movies. I want to see the Suicide Squad succeed. I want to see Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice succeed. I want a Justice League movie to succeed. But I want it to be handled well. And I want it to be handled with respect. That With the respect that all of these characters deserve. I mean, come on. these are This is Harley Quinn's and Deadshot's big screen debut. Not to mention Captain Boomerang, Amanda Waller, Rick Flagg, and Chantress. And the new Joker. I mean, this is not a film that you can afford to ruin. This is this needs to be awesome. No pressure. I really hope that they can pull this off. What do you guys think? Do you think, uh, when you are listening to all my rambling, do you really think that Suicide Squad will be will make or break the DC Cinematic Universe? Or do you think it's another film entirely? And if so, let me know which one. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, question for the day. If DC decides to make a new Green Lantern film, which Green Lantern would you like to see? My personal pick, Kyle Rayner. He is awesome. Second pick, Jon Stewart. Just don't have Therese Gibson. I really don't see him as Jon Stewart. My name is Dark Cinema, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.